welcome Tony here. With the recent release of the new space station Oculus Quest home, I thought it'd be good to do a video looking at my top 10 unofficial homes for the Quest. At the end of this video, I'll show you how you can install these homes on your Quest and there'll be timestamps in the description below. Now, if you like this video, do check out my channel. I have a ton of stuff there. Subscribe and hit that notification bell to be kept up to date with the latest and to keep this channel going. So let's take a look. One of the top selling and best rhythm games you can get on any VR platform is safe to say Beat Saber has been a massive hit. This home environment, it faithfully recreates the Beat Saber logo. It has the red and blue sabers as well as the blocks with the blue saber in mid cut. It's a simple environment, but everything is well thought out and well made. If you're a fan of Beat Saber, this is the home environment for you. And this next home environment is certainly groovy. You have a recreation of the cabin in Evil Dead 2. Everything here is so nicely detailed. You have the Necronomicon, the shotgun, the tape recorder, the moose's head, the chainsaw, it's all here. There's even holes in the door where the shotgun blasted through. You can step out on the porch and view a panoramic view of the forest and you see this guy appearing from time to time in the windows. There is such an amazing level of detail with this one and as an Evil Dead 2 fan, this one's my personal favorite. The next home environment is from Mirror's Edge. Now I have to say I never played Mirror's Edge, but despite this, it's such a nice home environment that I had to include it on my list. The home environment consists of this large, well-furnished apartment there's a beautiful outside environment, everything from the sun coming in through the blinds, the cityscape outside, and the animated drone flying outside the window. If you want a really good looking home environment, you can't go far wrong with this one. One of the most iconic and longest running animated series, The Simpsons, officially began in 1987, regularly began airing in 1990, and continues to this day. For anyone who's watched the series, the opportunity to go through The Simpsons' house in virtual reality is too good to pass up. You'll be able to see some iconic places like the Quickie Mart and Moe's Tavern from the show, and this home environment also recreates the kitchen and the front living room. Everything looks fantastic and the author has put a lot of detail into this one, so make sure you check it out. If you had an N64 in the 90s, chances are you'll be very familiar with this opening scene. Our next home environment recreates the outside of Peach's castle in Super Mario 64. This home environment is a very nice and accurate recreation of that opening scene in Super Mario 64. You even have Lakitu, the flying cameraman, flying by on his cloud. As well as being a good looking and well thought out environment, this one brings up massive nostalgia for me and that's why it's in my top 10. Who remembers seeing the holodeck scenes on Star Trek The Next Generation and wishing you had something like that? Well, virtual reality is not quite there yet, but we're certainly closer than we were when the show first aired in 1987. There are currently a couple of holodeck homes available on the Oculus Quest home Discord. This one, which has the doors open, but if you're like Lieutenant Barclay and want your privacy, you can choose this one, which has the doors closed. This environment is also good if you prefer not to have too many distracting features in your home environment. Now, who lives in a pineapple under the sea? This home environment faithfully recreates the Krusty Krab from the Spongebob cartoon series. Spongebob, Mr. Krabs, Patrick and Squidward are all there and you can even step outside to see a customer pulling up to get his Krabby Patty. You see the bus that took Spongebob to work you can see in the distance Spongebob, Squidward's and Patrick's houses. But what you won't find is the secret Krabby Patty formula. Are you ready? <laughs> Are you 
sure? Okay, the secret formula is... This next home environment sees you atop a skyscraper. This one made my top 10 not only for the awesome view you get from the top, but also for the amount of detail and stuff going on. You have your four-legged friend here, a crow perched atop the windowsill, there's a blimp in the distance, and there's even a bloody dragon that flies above the buildings. And once you're done with that, you can check out this nicely detailed room. The next home environment is based off Valve's puzzle game, Portal. In this game you solve puzzles by creating portals to maneuver objects. And this home environment is a very nice tribute to the series, complete with portals, moving crates and animated sentry guns, all contained within the white sterile environment of Aperture Labs. The next home environment recreates the famous scenes in Star Wars riding along the trenches of the Death Star. Here we have our three TIE Fighters. Behind us we have our menu and never-ending trench. And if we look off to our sides, we even see guns moving and firing at the advancing ships. Now this is the slow version, but you can download a fast version too. But be warned, if you do suffer from motion sickness, this might not be the best home environment for you. Anyway, that about rounds off my top 10. Do you agree with my list? Is there any you would have added and why? Uh, leave a comment in the comment section below. That's about it for me. Do like and subscribe. And I'll leave you with a quick tutorial on how you can install these home screens. See you next time.